They just need a conversation starter. Everyone's news all in one place. The Papers, weeknights at 10.30 and 11.30 on the BBC News Channel. Hello, this is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. One person has been killed after Russian cruise missiles strike the Ukrainian capital Kyiv, causing big explosions. The attacks come as world leaders meet in Germany, where they'll discuss how to continue to support Ukraine. US President Joe Biden meets with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and expresses the need for unity with NATO against President Putin. We have to stay together. Yeah. Because Putin has been counting on from the beginning. And somehow NATO would, uh, and the G7 would splinter. And but we had it, and we're not going to. Among the leaders at the summit, Boris Johnson, who said he is actively thinking about a third term in power amid criticism of his leadership. At least 20 people are reported to have been found dead at a nightclub in the South African city of East London. The Prince of Wales accepted a suitcase containing a million euros in cash from a former Qatari Prime Minister, according to the Sunday Times newspaper. There's no suggestion the payments were illegal. And Sir Paul McCartney wows Glastonbury and brings on surprise guests Bruce Brinkstein and Dave Grohl. Hello and welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. One person has been killed and several others have been injured after apparent Russian missile attacks struck the Ukrainian capital Kyiv, causing large explosions. The city's mayor says ambulances and rescuers have been sent to the scene. The attacks come hours after President Zelensky made another plea for Ukraine's allies to provide air defence systems. The war will dominate a summit of G7 leaders, which is starting in Germany and how to deal with Russian aggression. Anissa